Hey y'all, welcome back to Philomena Jack's studio, art chat number something. Uh, welcome back, thanks for hanging out. Um, I recently had my one of my crafty artsy faves, Mark Montano, make a comment on my YouTube channel and I just feel like, woo, thank you Mark Montano. Um, I love when everyone comments and thank you, especially to Bela, you are the best, you give me lots of great encouragement and presence in the mail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I am moving along with my tattoo apprenticeship. Last week I had a bit of a freak out and uh, thought, what am I doing? But with uh, some chats and some meditation, I've decided that I really am excited still to be creating a career um, in the arts and a career that ultimately I believe helps people, you know, helps them express themselves, helps them to work through cathartic situations. Maybe it's instead of joining Fight Club, they get a tattoo. I don't know. But I, uh, I am uh, moving along. So the last, I'm um, on the last few pages of uh, doing pencil, colored pencil. Um, and then after that, I'll be going on to watercolor. Um, and the uh, instructors specifically suggest using the uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's um, liquid wa watercolors. I decided on the hydrous line versus the radiant line. Apparently this line, the research I've done, has better light fast qualities. Um, why wouldn't you just always get that? Like why would you get something that's less light fast? Are you living in a cave and you only keep your art out in a cave? I don't know. Um, but I got set number three. There's three or four sets of these and they have different colors. Um, I chose this one because <clears throat> it seemed to have sort of a lot of pinky tones in it and some turquoise, you know, I love my turquoise. Um, so I think this will be a good set for me. I also, of course, have my Derwents with me. Um, those are ink tents versus watercolor. Watercolor, if you get trapped, stuck in the rain, it's gonna go away but ink tents will, are ink and they dry solid. They're not going anywhere. Um, so what else have I been working on? So I had a beautiful commission to do a portrait painting of Dorothy Day. Please look up Dorothy Day, D-A-Y. She's a, a really rad, was a really rad woman here in New York City, she her deal was let's feed people. Um, she created this organization or this place called the the Catholic Worker, and you by no means need to be religious or Catholic or involved in any sort of religious community to be part of them. There, she just was fantastic, and her her theory kind of was. Instead of going to an anti-war rally, let's go to a pro-peace rally. And when you shift your, your paradigm that way, it, really interesting things come. I really, I, I like investigating that kind of ideolo ideology. So I'll try to insert a photo of the painting, if I'm clever enough for that. But this was the reference that I used. I loved that she had this cr sort of crown here. And one of the things she says is, you know, I was, I'm no saint. Um, there's another part to that quote, but um, she just, she was just totally rad. So I'm also working on um, this, which is going to turn into something cool. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of painting to do in the next 18 months or so to be continued. We'll talk about that another time. And um, so I'm starting to really think about what I'm going to be painting. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm, I'm really excited that George Saunders has a new book out, Lincoln at the Bardo. Um, I can't, can't wait to read it. And I've been trying to not look at the reviews or he had a live reading last night on, I think, Facebag or something, Facebook. Um, I can't wait to read it. If you haven't read any George Saunders, S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S, 
please do. Uh, just a nifty guy, great author, but you have to kind of go into it. Sometimes his writing is a bit surreal, but just go. Like if you get a chapter in and you're like, WTF is this guy talking about? Just keep going because it'll be worth it. Um, I'm also going to be using my uh, water pens coming up soon because the um, for the next stages with the watercolor. There's something called spit shading, which is exactly what you think it is. It's using the brush in your mouth to paint. No. Um, that's all. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'll see you soon.